hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today in this video it has been uh so much long time before we just sit down with you guys and i have been receiving a lot of questions a lot of comments and i can see you some of your comments and read and i just want to make videos about it but sometimes you know the way uh, the channel has been going it's kinder going this way this way by the comment below which content do you like most because i have seen a lot of you are into relationship stuff and also moving into tacky a lot in today's video i want to share with you uh actually it is among the top questions that i receive a lot a lot on my instagram and on my accounts the other accounts and also on youtube especially for my dear ladies who are looking for green pastures or who are looking for jobs in turkey and um i want to share my views my honest views and also opinions just talk sit down and talk about this thing because i know it's not easy outside there and also people are struggling and looking for ways to generate extra income and sometimes you just want to go out of your country maybe for green pasture as you always say and if you are interested in turkey i want to share with you my top concerns and also my top uh precautions not precaution my top uh things that you should bear in mind or maybe you should consider before looking for a job in turkey okay or in tokyo so welcome to my channel and without wasting any time let's jump in <music> A lot of times I receive uh, these kind of messages. I'm looking for a job. I want to come to Turkey uh, to look for a job. Can I come and hustle? Can I come? Which visa will I use? And um, which kind of job are there? And where is the best place to stay? A lot of questions about coming to Turkey and finding green pastures. As much as I want you guys to understand that um, these are just all my own opinions, I want you to know that um, Turkey is a beautiful place, of course, especially if you are coming to explore. But in terms of work, looking for a job, unless you have uh, you have a company that uh, has a already prepared documents for you coming to look for a job in turkey in terms of hustling the way you normally say it can be very challenging and very tricky the reason i'm saying this it is because of the language barrier of course not everybody in turkey uh, is talking english okay and also because of the high inflation rate right now right now i think it is around 20 dollars uh, 20 turkish lira compared to one dollar which is so 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 high and the lira has been losing value all the time so you might find that uh the, the salaries might be very very low compared to other countries in fact many people from turkey who are professioned are actually thinking or, or already uh, they are doing their uh, staff outside like moving outside the country so if you're coming to uh to actually find a job or to hustle you can come and you think that you just come and then find a job it can be very challenging i don't want to lie to you now point number one before even i move on forward turkey like i said it is a very beautiful country it still holds their culture and in terms of actually just visiting and exploring however you must consider that if you are coming to turkey whichever country you are coming from depending on your country you might need a visa to enter into turkey if you're kenyan you will require a, a, a visa if you're coming to visit just to explore the, the the cities the beautiful cities here in fact right now is the best time to come and explore then you get you can can actually apply for a visit visa but i'm talking about for those people who are talking about coming to turkey to look for a job if you're coming to look for a job then these things you must consider first thing you're gonna need a visa and also concerning the visa you must understand that according to turkish law you're gonna need to actually have a work permit visa like you must apply for a work permit visa not a visit visa Many people come on visit visa. Of course, they will work because this is Turkey. They're going to work, but you will have uh, to understand that it is illegal. 
okay and also you might have a very hard time finding a resident permit uh, what we call ikramet or ikamet ikamet here in turkey so if you come on a visit visa you might find this Joby, joby, joby. <laughs> they normally say joby, joby jobs. You might find jobs, of course, these handy jobs, but according to the law, you have to make sure that the company that is hiring you or the employer has made a work permit or a resident permit for you to be on a safe side legally. Now, let's talk about another thing when it comes to work. Are there jobs in Turkey? Is it easy to find a job in Turkey? Because these questions I normally receive a lot. I have to say it's not easy. It's not that easy the way people normally think, oh, you're going to come tomorrow and then you find a job. For you to do such kind of job, you must have someone who already has prepared for you, maybe a job or a contract or a, a already has found uh, for you someone who needs a job or maybe an agency and then you can come and directly go to work but coming just directly maybe from kenya and then coming here to look for a job it's going to take time first thing you must understand that most people talk turkish they don't talk english and then also just finding jobs even for the locals ones it can be very very tricky or very very challenging especially if you don't have anyone or any connections now let's move on to another thing that you should consider Another thing before coming, even before thinking of coming to Turkey to look for green pasture, as you normally say, you must consider what skill are you coming with? Because if you are just coming uh, for to look for these kind of jobs, maybe nanny jobs for ladies or maybe these uh, hotel jobs, it can, of course, you will get because they, they, they are in high demand right now, uh, these seasonal jobs. But at, at the end of the day, you want something that will sustain you, something that will give you or that money that you are looking for, something that will actually make you feel like you are proud of yourself, like you are earning a lot in terms of actually skills. So what skills are you coming with? If you have a certain skill that maybe Turkish people don't have, not even don't have, but it is high competitive in terms of, let's say, maybe in export, in sales, in marketing, uh, in health wise, uh, you can find a company that can hire you and then come with that company and then do what? Uh, try to make sure that you are excelling or you can still use an agency make sure that the agency that is bringing you here they are legit because there are small small companies or small small agencies who are there to scam you especially uh, people who are who have never been to Turkey and they are boosting and they are telling you oh, I'll find you a job that is paying over two hundred thousand dollars or oh, I'll do this I'll do this there's nothing like that. You must make sure you are considering who is bringing you here so that you don't come here and then get stranded. I have received a lot of message. I get each and every time message from different girls who come here. Agents call them uh, maybe from Kenya and then they lie to them that, oh, we have these certain jobs. When they come here, there's no nothing like that there are not uh, jobs here so you must make sure that you are coming with extra skills that will enable you to sustain yourself even if you don't find that job that you are coming with another thing make sure that the agent you are using ask that agent question ask them are you providing work permit for me like are you going to provide or the employer is he willing to provide for me a resident permit and uh, how much is my salary um, make sure that how much time am I going to work how long will the contract be if you are on a contract basis ask question don't just come or don't just because the agent has told you you need to pay this amount and then you come here you get stranded ask that person where will I stay if any any if in any case there is something or there is a problem who gonna help me okay how will I navigate through because most of you you come here you have no idea what is going on where to find jobs or who to go to or you just come because you have given the agent money an agent who has never been here they don't know the law about the Turkish government they don't know nothing so be very careful be very cautious okay now another thing of course this one I already mentioned uh, like I already mentioned it is about language barrier okay make sure that if you are aiming your aim is to come to Turkey do your prior practice practice some words in Turkish like maybe 
general words like you can use even if you get a job in hotel or you get a job in touristic places you can actually be able to communicate with the locals or if in any case you have a problem then you already know a few words uh, for someone to help you out so make sure that you are learning some few words in Turkish of course English is widely spoken especially in those touristic places but however you have to understand that the language or the national language here in Turkey, it is Turkish. And most people who are Turks, they will communicate with you in Turkish, especially uh, if you go to these small, small uh, village, not village, small, small cities, most of them, they don't speak widely Turkish or uh, English. OK, so practice your language very well and also be open minded to learn. Don't just say, oh, because I'm an English person, why should I learn Turkish? You need to learn this certain language because you are coming to their country and then you're going to be dealing with their own people according to them and according to their standards. OK, now something else to actually consider before even Taking that flight or coming to Turkey, make sure, you, especially if you are coming, you are a person who is saying that, oh, I want to go and hustle. I want to go and find a job by myself. Make sure you understand the cost of living right now in Turkey. Let me tell you, some people maybe they prefer or they might say that, oh, Turkey is a cheap country, but it is not. It's no longer a cheaper country the way people normally think. Things have actually uh, gone uh, to an extent, like even the, the locals will tell you that things are not okay economically. So high inflation is so high right now. If you're coming to Turkey, you're going to spend a lot of money on rent, on food, on transport because you are newcomer. So you must consider those things. Where will you stay? Which city are you willing to stay? If you're going to stay in Istanbul, like I normally, most people normally do, one, because Istanbul has a lot of chances in terms of work, then you must find a maybe an apartment or you must find somewhere that you can rent or maybe share with someone that is actually going to accommodate you this period you are looking for a job because for you to just come and start looking for a job it will take a little time it's going to take maybe a few months or maybe a few weeks depending on where you are and the connection you have and also the skills that you have so it's going to take some time so be very careful where you are going to stay Talking about uh, the cost of living and high inflation in Turkey, you must also consider the safety. Where are you staying? Are you going just to stay somewhere that nobody knows you or maybe somewhere that people can scam you, that people can harm you? Of course, 90% of the, the, the cities in Turkey, they are safer, if I say. But you have to take precautions. You have to understand which area are you in case of emergency or in case of anything, are you able to tell someone I'm in this place, I'm at this place, can I give that person an address to myself or to my to wherever I am so that they can help me? So be very careful which area you're coming to. Uh, are these uh, areas risk in terms of natural calamities? Like we have seen previously the earthquake. Uh, you have, you understand what happened. So ma make sure that you are doing your own research. Who are you going to stay with? the person who is telling you I'm going to host you how sure are you that person will host you and for how long are they are, are those people safe to stay with because not not everybody in Turkey is, is is a good person of course I have to say this because I know there are so many good people outside there but however we cannot just generalize and say that there are very good people in in Turkey we have a few who normally actually take advantage of newcomers and especially uh, they take uh, people who have never been here and they can do some stuff for you or, or to you or even they can scam you if you have extra income they can take your money they can do harm things to you so be very cautious be very very uh, careful when you are conducting in terms of safety wise okay now Another point that you should consider if you're coming to look for a job or to stay here in Turkey, you must understand that there, there might be cultural differences. Where you are coming from might be very, very much different from here. Because like I said, Turkey is a beautiful country and also they are still people who are still holding their cultures in terms of uh, work, in terms of ethics, uh, economical ethics, in terms of business, uh, in terms of etiquette, uh, in terms of actually dress 
blessing mode and also in terms of religion so you must make sure that they you must be aware that there are those differences if you are a person who is used to maybe wearing in a certain way you might find that depending on where you are going there might be actually restriction not even restriction you must take care of yourself as a person especially for my dear ladies who are, who are intending to come to Turkey there are certain places that you will visit especially if you are visiting maybe a mosque you are not allowed to go just empty handed not empty handed you, you, you cannot just go without covering yourself well because this is a Muslim country like Turkey majority of them 90% of people here maybe they are Muslim and they still hold their culture in terms of our religion so be very careful and also in terms of cultures, you must famili familiarize yourself with certain cultures. For instance, you must know that um, they still hold their cultures. So respect their cultures and also understand that they can be a different. The, the way we are used to actually working or the way we are used to actually earning money is not the same way we can do it here. So you must be very careful. Okay. Now. Another thing I have to add is actually networking. Make sure that you are networking with other people. If you come to Turkey, try to find other experts who are near you or maybe before you come to Turkey, try to go to groups uh, whereby we have different kinds of uh, actually talks about Turkey. Learn one or two things for you to understand the general uh, life here, the general living lifestyle here so that when you come to Turkey, you are not stranded or you, are, you don't have anyone to talk to or maybe someone to actually ask questions. So so try as much as possible, enter or make friends on uh, with people on Facebook groups or any other social media, people who already are here, people who understand the culture here, people who can actually help you in terms of need, okay? Or in terms of guidance, don't just be a person who is like, oh, I know everything. I don't need to research. I don't need to ask anyone question. I don't need to do anything. No, ask question, network with those people, build those relationships, even in terms of business, build that relationship so that if you are coming to work here, um, you already know what is going on here. OK, now. Last but not least, you must make sure that if you're coming to Turkey, you must make sure that you have a health insurance. Make sure that you have, uh, you have, you are familiarizing yourself with the healthcare staff here. Like you know, if you, you, for instance, you are sick, you know where to go to the hospital. In case of emergency, you have insurance. You have someone to help you out, or you, you already know which hospital you're gonna be going on or you're gonna be using. So try as much as possible to look. Or or research in those things so that when you come here you are not just stranded or maybe you are sick you are just in the hole in the house nobody's helping you make sure that you have an insurance card whereby you can actually use in case of anything before you land that dream job of course i have to emphasize that getting a job is not that easy but it is very possible and something else i have to add is that if you are looking for a job in turkey try as much as possible to utilize the website that can actually help you to get a job depending on your skills i have done a video previously about the uh, website that you can use to actually look for a job here in turkey right now i think the minimum salary here it is around 400 dollars uh, which is around 8,500 Turkish Lira. It is still very low. Maybe it's going to be increasing. It is still very low because of the Turkish Lira falling down. But if you compare maybe in our country, it can be a little, little bit higher. However, if you compare this in terms of dollars and people who are earning a lot of money, people who are in Europe, then you'll find that you will have a very difficult time here, actually, if you are going to be earning little money like this. Okay? Uh, but if you are coming with dollars, you're coming with euros, you are coming with the foreign currency, which is more stronger than Turkish lira, and then be sure that Turkey is going to be a very beautiful place for you to visit or to actually stay in, especially for those free landers or nomad uh, people who are actually working uh, from home and doing other projects, then this place can be uh, really good for you. That being said, I'm not against people coming to Turkey. This is not my country. Uh, of course, we want people to come and visit, to explore, to have that exposure and also to learn and uh, actually just to build themselves because who want to be in one place 
year after year. I also want to go in different places. I want to explore different places to find different kind of jobs so that I can explore myself, I can build my family and also just have good stuff. If you have enjoyed this video up to there and you want to see more, maybe have one-on-one -on -one talk, let me know in the comment section and also do me one favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel and let's keep on actually sharing together. Until next time again, I'll sip my Turkish coffee. <laughs> I have to say gule gule or gurishiruz or bye.